G'day and welcome to Wine Week. I'm Danny. And I'm Brad. The newly married Brad. In fact. Yes, but don't hold that against me. I can still talk about wine. You definitely can. We had some great ones at the reception, but let's hook into some wines that we didn't have this last weekend. The first being a Grant Burge Shiraz. Now, this is the Phil Sill. There's a bunch of wines in the Grant Burge stable, starting off probably where most people know, kind of the uh, the lower end gear. They do stuff right up to the top end, the Meshach being an absolutely brilliant wine. But the Phil Sill, under $30 most places, is a really good quaffer. It's a lovely everyday wine that you know has those kind of classic Barossa Shiraz flavours. So kind of cedar box notes that a lot of people talk about, kind of tobacco-y. Nice and chewy, but not over the top. It's not too in your face. And at a 2005 vintage, still very drinkable right now, but really will reward some cellaring. You could put this down for five odd years and you'll have a magic wine there. We got it around about the 25 mark. So if you shop around, you're going to do all right on it. But even at the Full cop of $30, this is a very, very good buy. So look out for that, the Grant Burge. Yeah, Grant Burge, uh, you know, cheap stuff, expensive stuff, even the stuff in the middle is good, so mm. worth a look. Uh, I'm going to have a look at a real cheapie. Uh, this is one in the real bargain territory, and uh, we don't venture down there too often, but we like to get our value for money. Um, this is the Penfold, uh, part of the Rawson's Retreat range, and this particular one is the uh, Shiraz Cabernet blend. Now, um, here you are talking about a serious bargain because we picked this up for uh, just a tad over $6 a bottle. Now, at that price, you really don't have any excuse for, for going out and buying cask wine because this is not going to set you back that much more. But the quality of the fruit here is a hell of a lot better than anything you're going to get in a bag or a box. Uh, Penfolds here, because they're drawing on such uh, large holdings of their, their grapes and also contracts with grape growers uh, all around the areas, that they can actually put together a wine that, despite its low price tag, is a really good quaffing wine. Um, this is sort of wine, don't bother about putting this down because, you know, realistically, it's probably not going to get any better. Uh, but it's designed to drink now, pop it open any night of the week and uh, look, it'll go down well. So it's the Penfold Rawson's Retreat, uh, the Shiraz Cabernet. Yeah, ignore the goon bag, go for something like that. Last one we're going to have a look at. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking of relatively inexpensive, this is remarkably cheap considering what it is. Now we've reviewed it before, very, very long time ago. This is the Mount Pleasant Elizabeth Semion. Now this is a 2002. They've had these down for at least four years before they ever get released. Obviously this one now we're pushing over the five year mark now. And look, by this stage, it has just become a remarkable wine. How much would you expect to pay for something that's got your know, five odd years of bottle age on it? Really, are you looking at something that's just over $13? And that is just almost criminal. Uh, that they can't charge more for an Age Hunter Semion is just a real shame, but for you and I, that makes it an unbelievable bargain. You really should go out and snap these up because probably years from now, we'll be looking back on it and going, why didn't I put hundreds of these down and make enormous amounts of money on them? Because they're great wines, citrusy, lemony, uh, green apple, but so honeyed off because of the age in there. And they're just they really are unbelievably remarkable wines for just so few dollars. So you do you need to do yourself a favour, you need to grab some of the Elizabeth. Yeah, and again, it's the, the, the consumer benefiting from a grape that's out of favour. Like Rieslings you get the cheap and Semions as well. Yeah, and look out, this one's a great one. So anyhow, that's it for this week. Next week, Brad will be off uh, through France. Jet setting around. But that doesn't matter because we're going to pre-film some more right now and you can watch us again next week. We'll see you next week. Bye.